What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 17 of our matplotlib tutorial series. In this part, what we're going to be talking about is adding text to plots. Uh, we may be able to cover both. Uh, there's two kind of major methods you might add text to plots. You would either just add text and give that text a coordinate location, or you can also add text uh, to like a specific plot and like maybe draw an arrow that points directly to that plot. So maybe some sort of big news happened or something like that. That's how you would do that now. Uh, first, we're just going to plot uh, some some text and just give it a location. So the first thing that I want us to do is if you're following along linearly, uh, we're going to be referencing tutorial 15 here. So uh, tutorial 15 was about styles. So I'm just going to take that code, copy and paste. So if you need this, head to pythonprogramming.net, the data visualization, and get that. I'll try to put a link in the description that'll take you directly there. Uh, if you need a, if the link isn't there for whatever reason, someone remind me and I'll, I'll put it there. I'm almost certain to forget it initially, so <laughs> so someone remind me. Anyway, uh, so we'll take that code from uh, tutorial 15, paste that in here, and uh, this code was using. We're really just showing off styles, so we're gonna go ahead and reinstate the uh, candlestick graph and delete this close p stuff. So this will be our starting code now. And so we'll save that. Let's run it just to make sure that it's what we're expecting. Right. So these are the eBay stock prices coming from Yahoo Finance API. Uh, the warning here is just because we've got a legend but no labels. So and in fact, we're, we probably won't have labels for a little bit. So let's come down and just comment out this legend so we don't see that warning. Now, uh, what we want to do is first, let's just talk about how to just put it like text on the plot. So the First thing that we could do, for example, would be um, we may not get away with doing AX1, but let's try AX1.text. And then you put the text in some sort of location. So uh, for us, we can put this text in, um, let's put it, let me, let's go to this graph real quick. Let's try 59.5 and this one's kind of hard because we're dealing with date data, but we can still actually, we can get away with this. Uh, we'll do date. We'll do maybe like the twentieth or something. How many? I don't see how many days we're doing. One month. So we'll do date point ten maybe or something. You'll see what I mean in a second. So first you give the coordinates to it. So the X will say we'll put it to uh, date. So we're going. We've got date. So date, and then we'll say date the ten. You know the tenth date basically, and then uh, we'll put close P uh, we'll do that at the first one I guess so it'll hopefully be like off of price and then you put what you want it to say so um, we'll just do eBay prices something like that so first let's try to see if we can get that to work right so it's got it marked for us at uh, that kind of starting price and then or actually it's got us let's see the X we chose to be the the tenth day and so that is here and then the Y we chose to be really the second price because the first element would be the second and that's where it plots that now uh, there is one more aspect that we could do is we could say we could put these at a fractional point but we're not gonna really worry about that now uh, but you can put it here uh, based on like date and close price or you could also do an axis fraction but we'll talk about axis fraction at the uh, point of doing the annotations but now the next thing that I want us to go ahead and do is like you can change the font of like this that shows up here so just for an example of doing that let's close this and we'll come over here and so we've got this text that we're showing to the to the screen what we could do is we could say you know font dict like this and uh, we'll say font dict equals and this will be a dictionary and then you can apply stuff to it so we could say family so this is like the font type we could say the family is serif and then we could say the uh, color and we can give it a color of uh, dark red so that's an example of one of the like many colors that uh, matplotlib just has built in dark red that's good enough uh, and then we could also, we can modify the size. We could say the size is, I don't know, 15. Okay. So that's enough for font dict. And then now to apply the font dict to the text, we would just add a comma here. And we would say uh, font 
font dict equals the font dict that we just wrote uh, here. Okay, so now let's save and run that one. And now you can see, yeah, it's given this kind of serif font and uh, colored it red and size 15. So that's just an example of throwing some text on a graph. I almost never throw text on a graph like this. I You would use an annotation generally, uh, but it's there. A lot of people like like the example matplotlib gives. It's, it's like you, you would put the formula that generated that graph on there, but I would put the formula as the title usually. But anyway, uh, that's how you can do that. Like if you want to add maybe like a copyright or something to your graphs, uh, you can use that method. So we're going to close out of this, and now we're going to talk about annotations. So annotations are a little more interesting uh, because you can actually point to a specific area. So um, for now, we'll leave we'll leave this uh, stuff here. Just or we'll we'll call this a text example. And uh, now we're going to actually add an annotation. So the way that we do that is we can we can do uh, ax1 dot annotate. So ax1 dot annotate. And then usually what I do as an example annotation is like big news, right? Uh, so let's see what we would shoot for for big news with eBay. Let's just try to find a price change. Yeah, so like we're trying to aim for this spot right here. Uh, so that was this was 10, so probably 11. The date 11th is what we'll go for. <laughs> so anyway, so we're going to annotate big news or we'll, we'll annotate bad news. Uh, and then we give the coordinate location of like the news basically so the coordinate location here would be date 11 and then let's do the high so it points to the high price so uh, high p 11 and so that's where the annotation will like basically point to and so we've already shown dealing with our date data down here but another thing that we can do that I was talking about before is actually annotate to a fraction of the axes. So an example of that would be you could do x, y, text. So this will be the location of the actual text for the annotation. So you've got two locations here. You've got a location for what are we annotating, and then you've got a location for where are we going to put the text that belongs to this annotation. And that's what's going to go here. But instead of putting it to like these coordinates here, or like calculating a coordinate, what we can do is we can give a, a fraction basically. So it's, it's a it comes out as a decimal, but it's a, a fraction will produce a decimal. So we'll do 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. And then uh, what we're gonna say here is we're gonna say text chords, because the default is not gonna be a fraction, but in our case, we're gonna use fractions. We're gonna say text chords equals axes fraction. And this is just built into annotation basically. And so what this will be is it'll be 80% of the X axes, 90% of the Y axes. That's where it will place our annotation always, no matter where we are on the graph. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. Cause we'll, we'll, uh, we'll put this up and, uh, and kind of move the graph around and you'll see what I mean when we go to move it around and stuff. So, uh, we'll, we've got that axis fraction. Now what we're going to go ahead and add is we'll add these um, arrow props equals and this will be um, a dictionary that contains the values of we'll give it a face color. You can give it any face color you want. Let's give it I think gray will be fine and then uh, comma and we'll do color equals and we'll just give this a gray again as well that should be fine so that kind of gives us the chance to kind of customize it a little bit uh, and that's really that should be enough for us so let's go ahead and uh, run that let's see what, how we do so you can see here it says bad news and it's pointing to that spot that we wanted we still have that example text uh, also let's see here setting color property so we've already got uh, default edge color and face color. So let's go ahead and let's close this real quick. And um, really we can get rid of everything here. Hopefully should be able to get away with that. Yeah. So <laughs> let's go back to the original. Um, so, so face color and edge color, if you, if you recall, that's being set by our style. So that's what was kind of yelling at us there, but we're just going to, we're overriding that at this point. So here's our graph. And you can see we still have our other text example. And as we move this graph around, you'll see text example moves with the graph. But our annotation here does not because we were using axes fraction. 
Uh, so it's always going to be in the same spot. And uh, so we can move this around or whatever, but you'll see the text example text that we added basically always follows us no matter where we go. But the cool thing is that little arrow will always also follow and it kind of just customizes where it is. So that's actually really cool. I was really impressed with that whenever I first saw it. Um, so there's your uh, couple of quick examples of annotations. Uh, in the next tutorial, what we're going to be talking about is annotating price over here. So a lot of times people uh, have asked, especially on like the T. Kinter series uh, that I did where we did we made like a, a Bitcoin application basically that graphed Bitcoin prices and could allow you to do some other stuff. Uh, a pretty popular thing that people do is add price over here. That way you add like the last price basically to the right hand side. So that's what we're going to do. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we get there. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about annotating up to this point, annotating or placing text, uh, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.